वेलकम टू द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन मल्टी ऑब्जेक्टिव थर्मल डिजाइन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एक्सपेरिमेंटल एंड न्यूमेरिकल स्टडी ऑफ डिफरेंट हीट सिंक्स फॉर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कोलिंग माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर एजे मोरे वर्किंग इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एआईएसएमएस इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द व्हाट एग्जैक्टली required uh you know the world is moving fast and some electronic devices are coming which are compact in shape and due to the compaction there is an increase in the heat of that circuit so to avoid the heat generation heat dissipation due to the heat generation and heat dissipation the some electronic devices or the comp let's say computer or laptops is um, damaged or uh, not working condition kept in the not working condition in this so the basic idea about this uh, presentation is to uh, how to minimize the uh, you know the uh, heat dissipation or the heat generation in the electronic component by uh, selecting proper uh, cooling mechanism so this is the brief history we have shown there are so many technologies which are used uh, in the industry or in the research they are for uh, uh, making a research on the uh, to keep the temperature of those processors those electronic circuits at ambient condition or the normal temperature so that there will be no damage of that particular component no hang or no, no system non working uh, condition will not occur or uh, noise of the fan and all so many things are there so to avoid that we require the proper uh, cooling mechanism in this we have selected uh, apart from that air cooling mechanism is there the phase change material is there the synthetic pulsating gate mechanism is there then heat pipes is there there are so many types of the mechanisms are available to make the heat sink cool before the what is heat sink heat sink is the part which absorbs the heat rejected by the component uh, electronic components and it liberate to the atmosphere but some heat sinks are uh, you know the due to their they are geometry they are due to their shape and size material etc they are not working properly so in this research uh, topic uh, uh, i have explained the one of the other uh, type of heat sinks called the pin pin heat sink Uh, which is a circular shape, and I have made some experimentation on that. So I will experiment. I will explain those things. Uh, this is the experimental uh, present experimental uh, presentation on heat sink uh, using the multi-gate uh, total impeachment. Uh, uh, I have performed the, the experimental uh, experimentation on the the pin-pin heat sink, which is the base dimension is a 60 by 60. mm so uh, size and 6 mm thickness and for the velocity in the range of reynold number 6000 to the 20000 so in this content we are going to learn uh, what is gate impeachment cooling technique what is multi gate impeachment cooling technique we, some of the literature review which paper we have review uh, refer Um, optimization of pin pin heat sink how i optimize which selection criteria are selected to select the heat sink then which apparatus experimental apparatus are selected and on which experimental apparatus or setup i have done the experimentation and the future scope of the research so already uh, i explained why we are you going for this research due to the miniaturization high power density demand of uh, uh, system performance reliability in electronic systems and more heat generation in the system that is the main criteria and we require the our heat system or the you can say the electronic circuit or the system should be at the ambient condition normal temperature irrespective of changing the system configurations to avoid overheating and burning problems of electronic circuits we have some proper uh, and less uh, space as well so we require some proper cooling uh, mechanism and uh, we have selected the 
jet impingement cooling technique what is jet impingement cooling technique so it is the uh, you can say a uh, 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 technique which is uh, used for the most of the times in the heat augmentation technologies which relatively uh, cool the uh, components at localized point uh, or surface to be cooled or heated there are various types of applications are there uh, of jet impingement cooling uh, i already explained the electronic cooling then tempering of the glass annealing of the glass or plastic sheet drying of the paper textile cooling turbine blades and uh, quenching of metals food processing industry there are so many application where the localized phenomena of heat transfer augmentation is occur or enhancement is occur so where we are using the jet impingement cooling technique maybe by using the gas maybe using the some cool or hot fluid or maybe the air as a cooling medium so in this experiment to uh, experimentation what kind of uh, uh, jet impingement uh, techniques are there there is a confinement uh, uh, technique you can see there is a uh, uh, from one side the uh, fluid is coming and uh, there is a confinement of the uh, plate is there confined plate and this is a target impingement surface on which uh, here it is the cooling mechanism occur and this is the region where the localized the heating and cooling will occur then unconfined in the previous we have confined the jet impingement but in the next unconfined we are not confined the uh, nozzle exit region in the nozzle exit region we have not installed the parallel plate with the target plates or the target surface now what is steady there are various region you can say when the jet this is called nozzle jet which is a circular in shape when we are applying uh, with certain velocity fluid or air to that there are various jet in the jet various uh, uh, regions are formed first one is the net uh, at the exit of the nozzle is pore jet then uh, jet contraction area and this is the wall jet zone which is impinging on the target zone after impingement on the local point it is get spread and that spread in region along both the side it is called wall jet zone and force acting on the target surface which is a stagnation zone or you can say the impingement region where the highest uh, uh, heat transfer augmentation occur but uh, there is a disadvantage of single jet this is a uh, single jet steady single jet impingement but i move to the instead of single uh, for the multi jet due to the uniformity of temperature distribution along the heat sink or along the heat surface and the pumping power less heat transfer rate in the single jet I want to uniform this heat distribution of the plate, so that's why I move to the multi jet. As per the my uh, um, surface dimension, that is 60 by 60 mm, I have defined the uh, region, and as per that, uh, I have uh, divided P by P R A on the 6 by uh, 6 nozzle uh, pin pin heat sink, P by P R A or uh, multi jet R A. So what I can consider um, for the jet impingement. You can see this is the uh, region where the two. Uh, what happens when the two jets are mixing together? This is multi-jet phenomena. This is multi-jet when the two jet wall jets are mixing, mixing here. The more turbulence, more heat augmentation, more heat transfer rate is occurring, and that's why due to the heat transfer augmentation. Uh, you know the turbulence and heat transfer is heat transfer enhancement is increased now next to that uh, on which uh, parameter i have uh, made a literature survey steady impingement opti optimization pin optimization of pin pin heat sink and the multi jet uh, pin pin heat sink and the flat plate so which design parameter based on the literature survey i have uh, defined some of the parameter uh, to conduct the experimentation first is the nozzle jet exit to the target surface i can say it is a z by d or h by d ratio then space between the pin pin heat sink and nozzle spacing hmm? 
so nozzle teeth and tympani string that is a uh, right uh, uh, distance we are consider that is you can say h or z distance then flow rate z diameter overall geometry of the heat sink circular heat sink square tympani string oval shaped heat sink or any other heat sink um, then fluid velocity pumping power etc some of the parameters i had uh, discussed to optimize the sheet i have referred the uh, this paper uh, you can say uh, this is a jw magetti uh, who defined this ratio based on that i had discussed uh, defined the uh, these parameters the pi diameter of the pin pin is the pi mm height of the pin pin is the 25 mm center to center distance between the pin pin is 15 mm and r is 4.4 mm similar way for the nozzle exit side as well so this paper i have uh, referred to optimize the ratio these are the term of the range of parameters i have uh, used to make the experimentation c z by d ratio 6 8 10 Uh, 30 watt uh, power, uh, which is quite high power. I have used and Reynolds number that is velocity 6000 to the 15000, um, and the nozzle uh, geometry is a circular, pin pin is in circular, uh, geometry is circular, and diameter both of them is a pi. So this is the apparatus I have used. That is called the vertical air flow vents, uh, uh, which is uh, there in the uh, defense use of advanced technology. Pune. Where I have conducted the, all the experimentation. In the picture also, the thermocouple calibration equipment is there. This is the Zulago equipment. This is the vertical air flow vent. Now, manometer is used to uh, find out the V, and based on the V, I have calculated the Reynolds number. So this is the nozzle uh, exit on from which air is going to entering on the target surface. That is x by y three. That is a p by p ratio. Uh, seven thermocouples I use the Zulabo thermocouple calibration apparatus I use. So this is all about the uh, uh, what I done at my postgraduate level of uh, um, research, and I unfortunately I not shown the uh, result of this, uh, but what I done. Thank you one and all. Thank you.